after that first day in San Carlos, there was <laughs> the Argentine air attacks were so ferocious that they thought they'd better get any ships that aren't needed, get them out. So the merchant ships, we sailed out that night, escorted out. So we're out with the task force for a couple of days, and then uh, we're sent in again. And we were going to go in with Atlantic Conveyor, and we were just north of the uh, task force when, of course, she was hit. So that left me north of a task force, <laughs> task force under attack, and no escort because the escorts had gone to pick up survivors of Goodveyor. Um, and that hit us quite hard because the chief officer uh, uh, and chief engineer had both worked for Cunard and both knew Captain North. And I'd, I'd met Captain North because he'd come across to me on the way down to discuss if I was going to be like his landing craft because Atlantic Conveyor is much better than, bigger than us. And we discussed ways that I could back up to him. He'd put his ramp down, I'd put my ramp on that, and we'd transfer it that way. It never came to that, but that shows how vague some of the plans were before we actually got there. But yeah, it, it, it was a big jolt to the crew. Um, but you know, we have to get on with it.